Hello everyone, welcome to my creative time with Emma. Today I just want to show you a quick tutorial on how to use this latest set I came out with. Um, it's the vintage label stamps. Okay, this comes with a set of eight stamps. The vintage sentiments, this comes also with a set of eight, eight different sentiments. Along with this vintage stitch label dies, okay? There are two dies that are wired together, so you could go ahead and break them apart if you want, or just use some little tin snips or something to, um, to disconnect them. So anyways, what I want to show you really quickly, how to line up these stamps with your die, because um, for me, I'm not very good at that at all, to be honest with you, so I was kind of practicing. So basically what I want to show you is how to line this up to be perfectly onto your die. And I coordinated this to go also with my scallop stitch, the scallop and stitch circle die. Oops, let me grab that for you really quick. Okay, this is the scallop and stitch circle die and basically it comes with a stitch circle and a scallop. So how I designed this, I designed this where you could use this stitch circle as a layer on here just like so um, and I also designed it for if you don't want to use the stamps it came with you could also use any of my all-around stamp sentiments to go with this particular set okay so I'm going to show you how to stamp on your circle perfectly as well as the actual die okay Okay, I went ahead and ran the die through my machine and cut out the this part as well as the little banner. And I went ahead and I cut out a little um, my my stitch circle a die as well. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I want to stamp one of these background stamps onto my label, but I want to make sure it's perfect. Okay, so what I'm using, I'm using my little Stampamajig. Okay, and I've had this like forever and I don't use it as much as I should. It comes with like a little, um, almost like a vellum card stock that has like a textured side and a smooth side. But um, I don't know where it is to be honest with you. So I'm just using some clear card stock for right now. Okay, we're going to use this instead. This is just some vellum cardstock. As long as you can see through it, it's got to be transparent so you can see through it. So you want to put it up against this little corner there. And then what I'm going to do is let me go ahead and ink up my stamp one more time because I already stamped it. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this. I'm going to put it in this little corner here. And I'm going to go ahead and stamp down, okay? And it's going to go like so. It's a teeny bit cut off at the top, but it's okay because I could still work with it, okay? Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I am going to grab this, my little die cut out there. And I'm just going to go ahead and just kind of like, let's see. Oops, I smeared it. That's okay. Kind of see through it to see exactly where you want it. And it looks like that would work right so let me see yeah that'll work so what you want to do is put this here because you know that's where you lined up your stamp earlier to stamp on your actual item okay so you're going to do that and then you're going to just move this carefully try not to move that or that okay because if you do it's not going to line up properly okay so let me just ink up my stamp one more time I love these color box inks, the color box chalk inks, they're, this is the fluid one, they're really nice. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here in the corner, and then I'm going to stamp down. Okay, you see how I lined up the block with that, alright? And then now you can see how perfect it is on here. You see, isn't that beautiful? Okay, so we got one down, alright? Okie dokie, now that we got our, um, the big label die on there, I want to focus on our, um, what you call this, you know what, let me see if I could do this without the cushion. I just want to make sure it lines up, you know what I'm saying? 
I don't want it to move There we go. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the circle, and this is the one that I had actually designed where that label could go beautifully right in the center across our little banner die. So now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go ahead and just ink this little this little bad boy up. I'm going to go in the corner and then I'm going to stamp just like so. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I am going to grab my little circle die that I had actually cut out already. And then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, this is the hard one, okay? This is the one I was having a hard time on this one. I'm like, I need to do something to make this work. And I figured it out. All I needed was my little stamp of jig Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make sure that's up against there. Okay, and then I'm going to ink up my stamp again. Just remember how you position it. You don't want to, if this is the way you did it originally, you don't want to come back on here and do it upside down, otherwise it's not going to, it's not going to match up. Trust me, I did that already. Um, okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this very carefully without moving anything else. Okay, and I'm going to go in here. I'm just going to stamp on there. And there we go. Voila. You see how perfect that is? Beautiful. Okay, so now... Then you have this stamped on here, perfect, as well as this right here. And then now all we're going to do is stamp on our sentiment. And let me grab that really quick here. Okay, let's go ahead and stamp on birthday wishes, okay? Let's see. A bigger block. Okay, here we go. Let's use this one here. This one you don't necessarily need to use that stamp a magic for. You can if you want, but this one I'm pretty confident of getting it in the center. So I'm just going to stamp this really quick. Perfect. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, so now all you need to do is just grab all of your pieces and then I actually touched this by accident so I got it dirty. So what I when I make my card, I'm just going to go ahead and make sure I use something that's going to cover that up. I'll maybe put some ribbon or something on there. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get some pop-up, little pop-up stuff here. Okay, and I'm going to put this right here. Right there, okay. And then for this, I'm just going to grab my, um, just a little paintbrush here, just the tip of the paintbrush, or you can use your pen, however, whatever you want, okay. Just to kind of make it like so. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some zip dry glue. And I'm going to just glue that down really quick, just the little batter down. Now, of course, you could ink the, all of your edges up, but for time's sake, I'm not going to do that. Or you don't need to curl it up like I just did. Isn't that perfect? Isn't that beautiful? So pretty. Okay, so that's one of them. This is another little um, design that's in that set as well, as well as that little sentiment. Okay, so that's two ways you could you, um, do that. Or you could do it like so. I actually made this cute little candy bar. And what I did was I just only stamped the, I stamp, I cut it, this out, the label out using pattern paper. And then I only used the outline stamp. I have an outline stamp that has a little circle already. And then what I did was I grabbed my scallop and stitch circle die. And then I, this little circle with the polka dots along the edges is also included in that set. And then I used my, um, let's see, this is from Our Family to Yours, this little Christmas tree. Um, that's what I use, and I thought this is a super easy little um, 
little favor or whatever you want, little stocking stuffers, uh, little gifts for coworkers, kids' classrooms, teachers, etc. Definitely an easy one to mass produce, and it looks so pretty with all the labels on it. So anyways, that is what I wanted to basically show you how to do that, the easiest way to line everything up. And then here goes another one really quick that I did with the polka dot one. And this, I went ahead and added my little ice cream die from the um, Celebrate Good Time stamp set. Isn't that super duper cute? I love how all of this came out, okay? And then we had another cute little vintage one. Okay, isn't that pretty? Thinking of you. And then this is my little rolled flower die. So just a few little ideas for you to work with if you have any questions. So if you have any questions out there, please go ahead and email me at info at my-creative-time.com. Okay, everybody, thank you for watching and have a fabulous day.